Hello everyone, myself Madhuri Darshan Vaishampan. Today again we are here to see or to explore the scope of nutraceutical science part 3. These are certain examples which I have shown you of your nutraceuticals which are commonly used. What are these examples? First one is your omega 3 fatty acids. You might have heard about the chia seeds, flax seeds. These are the common sources of your omega 3 fatty acids and why it is necessary to consume because it will improve your heart health, it will reduce the inflammation and it will also contribute the better brain function. Vitamin D. Vitamin D ka source kya hai? The main source of your vitamin D is your sunlight, your fatty fish and your fortified dairy products and which are required for the bone health as well as the immune system functions. Here I have enlisted these examples of your nutraceuticals which you can consume to improve your health. <clears throat> now we are going to see what are the key areas of the nutraceutical science. There are four important key areas of the nutraceutical science. The first one is your nutritional biochemistry. Second one is your functional foods. Third one is your dietary supplement. And fourth one is your pharmacology and the therapeutics. Here means what? By considering all these areas, we can specifically focus on the research and the development in this area of your nutraceutical science. We'll see one by one. The key areas of the nutraceutical science basically considers the first point that is your nutritional biochemistry. Now what do you mean by nutritional biochemistry which actually focuses on the chemical processes which are continuously going on in your body which are related to the nutrients. And what is the important, uh, importance of it? The main importance is you will be able to understand how your nutrients are interacting with your biological system and which will provide the insight into their mechanism of action and the potential health benefit. The second area is nothing but what your functional food. That functional food basically used or basically focuses on the development of the of such type of food which is added the health benefits beyond the basic nutrition which is having the importance in creating the food product that will contribute to the specific health outcome as well as which are addressing the nutritional needs and promoting the well-being of the individual. Next is your dietary supplement. Dietary supplement plays a very important role in overall maintenance of the gulf microflora where the formulation and the safety concentrated uh, concerned with the source of the nutrients or the bioactive compounds which is having the importance in providing the targeted and the convenient dose of the specific substances to address the deficiency or which will help to support the health goals. Next is your pharmacology and your therapeutics which is actually focusing on the nutraceutical therapeutic purpose and disease management which is having the main importance in the exploring potential of the bioactive compound which act as the natural alternatives or the complementary approaches to the traditional pharmaceutical interventions. In case of that, the last but not the least is your quality control and quality assurance. By using all these research areas, we are formulating such type of product or we are making such type of food supplement which will enhance the overall health of that particular person. So for that, it is necessary to check its quality. And in case of that, the three important steps which are involved. The first one is your product safety. Second one is to check its efficacy and third one is <coughs> adherence to the regulation. Means what? Uh, if you consider uh, food guidelines, they have finalized certain rules to um, sell your product or to launch your product into the market. So for that you have to uh, follow these guidelines. So whenever you are having such type of product, the first point is product safety, second one is efficacy and your adherence to the regulation. In product safety, we are going to implement, we are going to measure, uh, measure the 
product quality of your nutraceutical products which are actually safe for the consumption or not and second one is your efficacy testing where we are going to conduct such type of research and the study to validate the effectiveness of the nutraceutical in delivering their indeed health benefits and the third is your adherence to the regulation where we are going to compliance with the regulatory standards and the guidelines to safeguard the consumer's health so it is necessary to check the quality of your product while launching your product into the market the next is your quality control standard for man manufacturing there only uh, not only for the launching of your product the rules are there but for your production for continuous production there are certain regulations that we have to follow the first one is your ingredient purity means what here we are going to verify the purity and the quality of the raw materials which we are going to use as an ingredient in case of your nutraceutical product the next one is the consistent formulation means what ek supplier se abhi raw material liya hai next time dusre supplier se liya so that may change the quality of the raw material which you have used and it will also change the final quality of your product so for that this second point is very necessary consistent formulation so by implementing the strict manufacturing processes to maintain the consistency and the accuracy of your formulation and the next third important part is your batch testing whenever you are selling any product you are selling it in a batch wise production if you have seen a particular koi bhi product le lo uske upar uska batch number likha hua rehta hai yes so for that batch all the test will uh, remains same so batch testing is a very important point here we are going to conduct the rigorous testing on the batches of the product to guarantee the uniformity as well as adherence to the specifications <clears throat> now we'll focus on the importance of the nutraceutical science in the future of the healthcare we have seen it before that there are many factors many areas which are there where your nutraceutical plays a very important role out of that the first one is your public health impact public health impact means what the nutraceutical science has a potential to make a significant impact on the public health by promoting the healthy dietary habits and the lifestyle choice the next important field is your preventive healthcare as we have seen before prevention is always better than cure so by using this nutraceutical it will offer the avenue for the preventive healthcare by providing the bioactive compounds that may help to reduce the risk of your chronic diseases which will emphasize on the nutrition and the lifestyle interventions which can address the health issues before they become more serious or it will also help to potentially reduce the burden on the healthcare system the next is your advancement in the research and the technology in ongoing research in nutraceutical sciences which is coupled with the technological advancement continues to uncover the new compound and enhances the product development which can lead to breakthrough in the disease prevention and the health optimization the next is your global health challenges as global health challenges involves the in, in, uh, nutraceutical science which will provide the adaptable and the accessible solution which can be tailored to uh, diverse the population and the cultures next is your individualized health approaches in case of that this nutraceutical science contributes to provide a personalized or precise medicine by considering the individuals uh, variations in the gene as well as its lifestyle and their health condition by considering all these things we will be able to give a personalized health care to that particular individual so by tailoring the interventions to the individual needs can lead more effective and the targeted health care strategies next one is your complementary to your traditional medicine as we have seen before ayurvedas play a very important role the nutraceuticals can complement the traditional medicine treatment by providing additional support to the patient by managing the chronic conditions so the integration with your pharmaceutical or as a part of comprehensive treatment plans this can enhance the overall health outcome so 
here we have completed with the importance of the nutraceutical science as well as what is the scope of nutraceutical science in future these are certain references which i have referred thank you everyone